Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. We're back in round two of the water comparison series. All five of these waters beat out a different water in round one. And in round one, I gave you a lot of detailed information and facts about all these waters. So if you want facts and details and pH tests, go back to the round one videos. Tonight, I'm just comparing these five and I'm just gonna do a taste test and decide which one of these five tastes the best. I don't have much else to say about any of these waters. I don't have any notes. I'm just gonna drink the waters and here we go. First up is the Nestle Pure Life water. This is from China. You can see Chinese writing on this side and then on this side it's kind of English. It says Nestle Pure Life. Actually, before I get to these four waters, I'm gonna do a taste test comparison between these two, because this is the American Nestle Pure Life, and this is the Chinese one. Before I open them, the Chinese one actually has a thicker bottle, like a thicker plastic. Maybe it's because it's shorter, it just, I don't know, it compacts it more or something, or it's just more structurally sound because it's shorter, but uh, this one feels stronger, which is kind of surprising. When you think of China, you think of cheap plastic, so it's kind of weird that the American one would, would have cheaper feeling plastic. So anyway, let's open these up and do a comparison. No smell, it just, you've probably all had Nestle Pure Life. Here, here we go. It's surprisingly good. This was like up, up against two other waters in round one that beat both of them. Here's the American one. Pretty close. This one has like a more of a dirty taste to it. This one has a little bit more of a sweet, sweeter taste to it. And it's a little bit surprising because you would think if it's the same brand, it should taste the same, even though it's from a different country. Like a dirty, soily taste to this one. And this one's better. I would say the Chinese one is actually better than the American one. I should have done this comparison in round one, but I didn't, so... Next up is the Pure Proud Source water. This is from the Rocky Mountains. Maybe a slight metallic taste. Not strong at all, not bad. You wouldn't notice it if you weren't thinking about the taste, but there's a slight metallic taste. Next up is Aqua Filette. This is the Italian water, fancy bottled water. kind of overly complex on how to open this for you know a bottle of water you shouldn't have to work this hard to open it I guess it's to make sure nobody poisons the, the water this is for like rich people I guess and maybe they're more likely to be poisoned the poison protector is off So if I remember correctly, this is natural spring water, but it's from like high up, it's from really high up and then it flows down or something like that. It's a really good one. This was up against a sparkling water. So a lot of you probably think, oh, this had an easy time getting to this round because I don't like sparkling water. So this one you might think has an easy time getting here, but this actually is legitimately a good water. This is from Salacious Drinks, and it's just, it's a good one. Next up is Kona Deep. This is a water I was excited about for a really long time. Like I remember seeing this on Amazon and just not being able to afford it because it was only sold by the case. I think it was like 40 bucks or something for a case of this, and I just didn't want to pay that for a case of water. Um, excuse me. And so... I didn't buy this until I was on a trip to Utah and um, saw it in a store for like $2 per bottle. So here we go. Sweet taste to this. In round one, I compared this to the Chuck Norris water, which had a very, very sweet taste. The Chuck Norris was very sweet. That's kind of why I eliminated it, the Chuck Norris water. This one is sweet, but it's still lower. It's like, it's a slight sweetness, but it's... Uh, lower and this 
alt apollo water i'm gonna save this until the end because i don't want to contaminate my my taste buds and my my mouth with the peach taste because once i put this in my mouth it's gonna be harder to compare these four so here we go okay <laughs> i'm gonna start off by eliminating kona deep which i'm really surprised by this i'm surprised this is making it further than the nestle pure life water but it's just the sweet taste to this is too strong it's more mild than chuck norris but it's still too strong it's cool branding it looks really good you know it looks like it would be a good water but it's too sweet i'm gonna eliminate it and let's keep going all right next up i'm gonna eliminate the proud source water I love their branding. I love the, the bottle. I love it's made out of aluminum, even though it got dented. Um, and even though it's not super strong aluminum. I love all that stuff. But the slight aluminum taste to this just makes it less pure of a water. With water, you want it to be as pure as, as physically possible. And I can slightly taste the metal taste of it. Let's see, you can... Squish it with your hand. It's not as strong as the Costa Rica rainforest water. Actually, I'm, I'm talking so much about this being aluminum. I've got another aluminum water right here. But it's it's not still, so it's less <laughs> impressive. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to eliminate the Nestle water. So a lot of you watching this probably think, oh, he's just doing it because of the branding. Nestle is uh, seen as more of a cheaper brand, and this one is seen as an expensive one. But no, it, it's really not. It seriously just comes down to the taste of it. Um, this one is just slightly better, in my opinion. Like, I'm just thinking, if I want to drink more of this right now, just focusing on the taste alone, this one tastes better. Okay, so Nestle is out. Now we're down to Altapala and... Aqua filette. I'm probably for pronouncing that wrong. Aqua filette. But I'm sticking to it. I like that this one has the colored lid. I mentioned that before. For the different flavors, they have different colored lids. But this one is just peach. I know this is going to lose, but I'm st I still want to try to be fair. And do a taste test of it anyway. Like, I wonder how much money I've spent on waters that I know are going to be eliminated. <laughs> but I just, I'm committed to doing the different rounds of water comparisons. And so I had to buy this again because I knew it made it to this round. But honestly, this is, not a, this is not a bad one. It tastes okay. Strong, uh, carbonated flavor to it. But as far as it being a water, though, I have to eliminate the Alta Paula water. Too much carbonation for a, for a water, and too much artificial flavors for a water. I actually like that they limit the number of uh, ingredients. The ingredients are just carbonated, purified water, and organic flavors. I like that it's not a huge list all the way down of, like random stuff they add i like that and i like how it's simple the bottle the, the can is it's just you know simple design but this is eliminated so there you go aqua filette is the winner this is moving on to round three i've even got an extra proud source water which is unopened i carried this all the way back from utah and uh no, I don't need it. Alright. Bye, everybody. This video is kind of boring. <laughs> I, I should have, Maybe I should have prepared. Maybe I should have had some notes so I had stuff to say during the video. But, goodbye.